I recently spoke on the show with professional kiteboarder and wakeboarder Sean Rangout. He's an amazing man with an amazing story. Well, this morning I'm going to be speaking with a man who shares that same love of water and action-packed adventure. He is the owner of Other Side Board Sports, which is a place where people can experience the more extreme side of the Keys through wakeboarding, paddleboarding, kiteboarding, and so much more. Mike, thank you for being here with me this morning. Thank you for having me. So you're taking a break from the water and coming indoors for a minute. <laughs> for a minute. I've got to get back to it soon. Yeah. All right. Mike, how did Other Side Board Sports come about? Um, my wife and I started it together in 2007. Uh, we met um, working at a shop together, um, similar to what we have going on here. Um, worked for somebody else for a few years and decided it was time to spread our own wings and give it a go for ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, so we re relocated down to Isla Morada. Mm -hmm. um, through a bunch of market research, it was an area that needed it. It was an area that we loved mm -hmm. um, and kind of made it happen. Mm -hmm. And you guys are making it happen still today since you started. Let's talk about everything that you offer at Other Side. We do board sports, um, skate, wake, kite, cable, and stand-up. Mm -hmm. um, skateboarding, both trick skating, um, we I help with some of the skate parks in the Keys, uh, and longboards seems to be getting more and more popular. Uh, wakeboarding via our wakeboard boat, and now our new Keys Cable. We have a cable park. Mm -hmm. um, kiteboarding, uh, it's one of the fastest growing water sport, fastest growing board sports anywhere. Mm -hmm. And stand up paddle, which is now giving kiteboarding a good run for its money as far as progression and amount of people involved. Now, do you have to be experienced at these sports to come to other side? Some of them. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to be experienced in, with any of them to come to the other side. Um, a little bit of experience to come down to the Keys and go kiteboarding doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that experience, turns out we also teach. Mm -hmm. So we can give you the experience that you need. Um, skateboarding, paddleboarding, or something that anybody can do. We can kind of get anybody um, on. I have a six, we have a six-year-old son who is a perfect example. Uh, he's more the exception to the rule, but we don't have to tell people that. <laughs> uh, he participates in all of our activities. Um, really? So people come and they see a six-year-old doing it and they figure, how hard can it be? Exactly. No, that's good that you use him because if I couldn't do it then and I saw a six-year-old, I might think there's something wrong with me. Well, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now are you out on the water every day, Mike, you and your wife? Uh, I would love to say yes. Sadly, no. Um, we are... Street, extremely driven at our business. Um, our passion is these board sports, but we understand that to have a successful business and to make sure that we can continue to stay in business, sacrifices get made and we end up um, covering shop duties mm -hmm. when the conditions are great. Uh, luckily, we have a great group, group of people around us mm -hmm. that we kind of live vicariously through them. If we can't get out and play, at least they're out and playing and sometimes we'll see footage of it later. Mm -hmm. We do get out as often as possible though. Now, you guys aren't from the Keys. Not originally, no. Mm -hmm. uh, so what is it like being down here then with the store as opposed to where you were before? Hot. <laughs> uh, just in the summertime, it's beautiful. Um, I mean, like I said, we did our research before we moved here. Um, and kiteboarding is a large portion of our business. Um, the conditions here are as good as it gets for learning kiteboarding, as well as for just having fun and progressing. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually a windy day out there now, and we have dozens of people uh, calling the shop and trying to get out and mm -hmm. uh, I'm not with them. <laughs> but you will be soon. soon. More locals or tourists? Yes. W what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> um, we, d we have definitely a big group of locals mm -hmm. uh, and that number grows every year. Mm -hmm. uh, more and more people realize they can get into it but we are a tourist destination mm -hmm. so we do have a ton of tourists. Mm -hmm. um, so yes. You we have, have, okay yes. more locals but but you still cater to the tourists. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Most of our, our um, instruction is to tourists. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the locals either know or are slowly learning. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to be showing our viewers a video this morning. Instead of just talking about what you guys do, we want to show our viewers what you do. What all is going to be in the video? We're going to show you um, primarily wakeboarding and kiteboarding. Mm -hmm. um, the just this year, part of the other side, we expanded to grow. Um, we built a cable park mm -hmm. in Marathon. Um, this has been the hands down the best tool we could do for kiteboarding. Um, it gives us the closest simulator you can have to kiteboarding mm -hmm. with the upward pull and standing on a board. Um, and in addition to kiteboarding, it's uh, 
it takes wakeboarding to a whole new level. Mm -hmm. We have, we're lucky enough to be partnered up with uh, Matt Sexton, who's a professional kiteboarder. Mm -hmm. um, and just to watch somebody like him, who's already a pro athlete, progress at the rate that he has, um, as well as I mean, several of our other athletes, or first day beginners. Again, my son, is, he was six years old when he first started. Um, and to watch him you know, go from a first day beginner to now he's trying tricks. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's helped us out a lot. And those are going to be the two sports primarily focused. Wonderful. Well, thanks for being on the show this morning. And I know everybody will enjoy this video. So